Hello, hi, how are you today? In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the new moon. Now, depending on where you're at in your journey, you may already be feeling some of the aspects of this energy ahead of time. Like it or not, cosmic things have an influence on us because we're part of the elements of the cosmos. As Carl Sagan said, you are made of star stuff. That's also an old proverb from, I think, Slovenia, too. You're made of the same things as the stars. Now, on the one hand, this is very elegant. It's regal almost, right? But when it comes to energies and how they affect you, it might not feel so elegant and regal. So let's break it down today, okay? This new moon first of all i'm going to call it for women in home because it's going to affect you right where you're at home and how you live and how you want to live one really big aspect of this moon energy is how do you want to live how much are you willing to take now this isn't to smash the patriarchy okay this is to get yourself out of the rubble Dust yourself off and be like, you know what? Enough. Enough of the drama. Enough of the extremes. I got to focus on me and where I'm going. Whatever that means for you. This energy is going to have like an impetus from the inside out. It's sort of that inner spirit inside you because you have your etheric body inside you. You have your spirit that's trying to break free. It's not your mind. Okay. This is the key difference for people who are ascending. And when you're on the journey, that high heart energy is supposed to come in to guide you and open the doors. Not your mind that spends time getting angry unnecessarily and honestly squanders a lot of energy. I think we can all agree that sometimes things get way too squandered and there's a lot of waste. Okay, tax dollars are getting wasted resources are getting squandered and wasted in light of actual things that really it could be used much more productively for i personally get really ticked off when i see it okay this is a uh, part of the hunter's moon energy and this is happening with scorpio energy which i always feel scorpio as can turn on a dime can be very quick and decisive now we're talking about characteristics, personalities, when we talk about the horoscope. You know, we're like, we're not talking about real concrete things. And yet that energy of being able to do like the quick, you know, quick, like almost like whip snap. When it comes to people that are ascending, you have to be able to do things at faster than the speed of light. You can only accomplish that through your light body. How do you affect the changes in your life when you don't feel satisfied or you feel like you want to dust off the rubble of the past and get yourself where you want to be? Now, in addition to that, it is going to affect a lot of people who have origins in uh, generally the continent of Asia because there is a huge eclipse. Now, eclipses can, you know, throw some light on the shadows. They can eclipse things. Usually what happens is whatever has been eclipsed, that means what has been kept behind closed doors, what has been hidden, what has been swept under the rug, that those are the things that actually continue to come to light. I mean, let's just be straight up when we talk about women. Women are being hunted, we're being persecuted, we are being kidnapped right off streets, we're being turned into all for what, okay? It's dangerous. I'm here to help people get to a level where, yeah, even though that danger exists, it exists below you. You're not traveling in that level. You can see it, you can then do something about it. You can turn around and help your sisters and your brothers. We're not going to accomplish fixing things at the level where the toxins are. So like, let me give you an example. You ever watch Grey's Anatomy? You ever watch like one of those TV shows or like Dr. House, right? What do they do first? 
They got to stop the bleeding. They got to find out where is the internal bleeding going on. Why? Why is it? I mean, you could take certain nations and understand that throughout their history, they have melded together with a whole variety of different cultures and peoples and characteristics. All of that bad blood has to come out somehow, and it's coming out, okay? So, you know, it's all well and good for people to, you know, set their boundaries and say, well, we're this, except it's in the blood, it's in the DNA. That's what your soul wants to help you ditch is what are the extremes in there? So as a woman, who have your ancestors carried? Who have your ancestors have to tolerate? What have you had to tolerate as your life? Have you ever been seeing some of these cultures where a woman's life is over the minute her kids are gone or her husband dies and you just have to wear black and that's your fate, that's your destiny? I'm here to say something else too. And I want this new moon to help you pivot this for yourself. When you have people that believe, oh, it's my destiny, it's my lot in life, that's a defeatist attitude at some point, okay? It may seem like a level of acceptance, like, oh, they can't accept like who they are, okay? You're seeing it in Iran. You're seeing that, you know, because of, you know, a wardrobe malfunction, essentially, that we could call it, it turned into a terrible thing. And yet, when do these things change? When do we begin to truly stop suppressing and squandering and wasting people's gifts, talents, energy, the resources, okay? That is what this moon is about. So you have to decide what is it that you want to come out from under, okay? Even the things that have been part of the past few years, like, you know, massive protest, I would say, yeah, sometimes you have to protest. Sometimes you have to get the attention. But then the attention has to get personal. What is it you really want? How do you accomplish that using your soul's energy, using your 5D energy, using that part of you to actually open the doors? How do you define it, refine it? focus it, make it personal, because that's what this is all about. It's making it personalized because you are a magnificent snowflake. You're unique in all of the universe. You have a unique blend. You have multifacets of your sparkling personality, right? Might not feel like that all the time. But yet when I talk to people, when I, you know, when we start digging, Okay, like you could start with a shovel to excavate. But what do you start doing when they excavate? You get out those little brushes. You get out the finer things. You don't want to ruin what's there. You want to uncover it, right? You want to bring it to the light, bring it out in the open, okay? So things to know about this new moon, okay? It's personal. It's specifically for women, women born women. So no matter where you are on that spectrum of sexuality and gender identity, you're going to have connections. Your connections are going to feel it. You're going to feel aspects of feeling like an old lady or maybe old man if that's how you identify, but you're going to feel it. You're going to feel dissatisfaction. You're going to feel the pushback. In other words, that's what angelics do. We push back, we bite back. Okay, at some point, we can no longer cower. We have it in us. We're going to fight or die. <laughs> okay, now I'm saying that figuratively. Okay, I don't expect people to go out and fight and die. Okay, there's enough demand for that. You know, there's demand. Somebody wants their USSR back, you know, like, we can't give it to them. We're not going backwards. Are you prepared to move forward? The other aspect of this is exactly that. Move forward. Take a baby step. Take one step in the direction of your ascension. It happens most easily through your body, which is what I teach. 
The next thing about this is home, okay? Now we have massive fluctuations in the monetary market. We have like interest rates are up, housing prices are dropping, you know, this is opportunity for some people. But how can it be an opportunity for you? How do you narrow that and refine it for yourself? Do you deserve to get into a dwelling that's for you? How do you find it? What do you do? Well, first of all, you can't send a mixed message to your soul, okay? You can't say, you know, one day when my prince will come, if you need it now, you need it now. And the energy of your prince or princess will be there to help you do it. You have to be decisive, okay? That's where it has to start. This is traditionally a time of completing things like financial aid packages, forgiveness packages for uh, debt relief, um, finding a place or moving into a place. Life will still go on. If you believe what's in the media, you're gonna die on the vine. Get yourself aligned so you don't die on the vine. Align, don't die on the vine. That's what I'm gonna say. What else about this moon? Well, catch my next two videos and I have an event coming up where we will get in depth on it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.